Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with a Redshift tutorial on how to do motion vectors. Uh, basically what motion vectors are is a AOV which we'll use to create blur and uh, we'll composite that, that in after we've done our render in Nuke. So if you're wanting to do this, it's very simple to set up in Redshift. We're going to go to our settings in AOVs and we're going to add this motion vector one. I'll just re-add it here. By clicking add then we're going to go to its properties by clicking the output button and I'm going to output raw vectors it's just going to make it easier to deal with the nodes in nuke and that's pretty much all your setup in um, in Maya um, you can add crypto mats if you want I'm actually not going to be using it here uh, I just had that from my previous render and if you want to check that the AOV is there you can open up your IPR and select motion vector and it will give you an output result that looks something like this um, motion vectors and most other AOVs I don't think work um, in progressive uh, IPR so you will actually have to run a regular IPR uh, render so it will take a second to uh, render out if you're wanting to check it um, but that is normal so after you've done that we're just going to batch render as per normal uh, just under rendering here we'll go to render and batch render however i am already rendered this one out so I'm just going to jump into Nuke and show you how to composite it all together Okay, so here in Nuke, I'm going to grab my beauty pass and my motion vector pass. We're just going to hit R to grab a read node. And I've already come to the correct folder here. So I've got motion vectors and then I've got my beauty. So I'll just control select that second one and I'll open both of those. So you can see here that that's the motion vectors. If I slide through, you'll see all the colors going crazy. Basically, they're just UV information um, or XY information as to which direction the mesh is traveling and how much, um, how intense the blur should be on that vector. So you can see there, there's a, a bit of a mix. And then if we look at the beauty layer, it looks something like that. Okay, so to combine these two modes, we're going to create a shuffle node that connects both of our inputs. So for me, A is going to be the um, motion vectors and B is going to be our beauty pass. So that second input will be A and we're going to change that to RGBA and then we're going to put it into the motion and we can just click and drag that um, from the left side into the motion and then your regular RGBA from your beauty channel is going to be um, RGBA, and RGBA into RGBA. And that will give us an output that we can use with our vector blur mode. So we're just going to tab and type in vector blur. And the input is just from the shuffle mode. And our channels are going to be all. And our UV channels are going to be motion. So that's the motion information from the vector motion uh, node. And uh, the MV presets, I'm going to use the PR man preset because I've actually found that works best for some reason. Uh, some other people have said Modo remap. Uh, I couldn't get a really good result from that, so I'm just going to stick with that. I'm just going to increase this to 4 so we can spot it easily. And uh, the shutter offset at 0.5 is fine. So now if I look in there, um, we can increase the motion blur. And you can start to see what's happening here. Okay, so now you can see that the um, the motion blur is working. Obviously, there's probably a little bit too intense still. Um, this character is zipping around quite quickly, so it's picking up quite a bit of motion blur. So you'll have to tone it back. Um, and you can also adjust the fall off. So if you increase it, it's going to blur it further. And if you decrease, it's going to blur it less. So it might be a combination of your motion fall off that you want to decrease. And maybe if you wanted that extra blur, you could still have it a little bit higher. Uh, keep the shutter offset as it is. Um, and I don't really uh, mess with expand blur b uh, bounding box. Um, it doesn't really do anything, I don't think, for this one anyway. So, and that's pretty much all you need to do to set it up anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click the like button. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed as I'll be doing a bunch of Redshift tutorials coming up because I just um, repurchased the Redshift license. And, um, and if you want to check out this animation, it'll be released shortly as well. So make sure you're subscribed to check that one out. If you want to follow anything else I do, check the links in the description for my Instagram and other profiles. Uh, that's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.